Hello everyone, welcome back to Napoleon Total War on this lovely weekend. I hope you're all well and relaxed and we shall continue where we left off anyway. Let me give you a quick summary as to what's going on. I keep pressing the tab, it's damn Rome 2 keeps doing that to me. Anyway, you can see here that um, the French have started to sort of push back in the centre and what I'm kind of looking to try and do is I want to split that army there away from that army so that I can essentially deal with that on its own, take out that general and deal with the forces in the center. Now, obviously, don't have a lot of forces there. If we can take that area, then that will sort of block off that area there and we can sort of deal with it and then start looking at this area again because we've got a spy in uh, Mancha there, or La Mancha, and we've also got a uh, another gentleman there. I think it's a, a provocateur there, so... You know, it's not too bad. You've also got this very small French army. Now, looking at our armies, we've got, um, obviously, some reasonable numbers. So you can see down here, let's go to Cordova. Here we go. We have this fine fellow, Mr. Carl Beresford, and he has quite a substantial army. Now, if we look at Nosy over here, you can see he's got a quite a limited army, but we have actually got... A uh, number of people here who were basically put in there to kick out their navy. And we've got more forces on their way to them now. So what we'll do is we'll get those guys to go into there now. So that we can immediately know. There we go. See, look, looking good. And then we'll take these four and move them back to there. And what we'll also do is we'll repair that navy area as well. We're not going to use it at the moment, but look at that. The army is significantly improved now. Um, and uh, obviously we've got uh, a good army sort of working in that area. Now, what I'm kind of thinking of doing, I mean, I've got reasonable amounts of money at the moment, so it's not the end of the world. There's just a single army there, and we've got the option for construction, a court of justice. Now, let's see, that'll give repression recruitment enable us to do militia so it will help generate some money um if we look at our tax rate let's have a look policies yeah tax rate is pretty even so there's no real massive negative effects um you know we could always put that tax rate down later i don't know at the moment um so here's a very small army that's kind of just kept in there as a placeholder We've got a sneaky little army over there. It's only a three-man or three-unit army. So we don't need to worry about that for the moment. So Mr. Carberis were down here in Cordoba. What we need to do is kind of, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe possibly go for that guy. Um, because if we can do some damage there. But the trouble is, is it means that it could be end up with a situation where we get an army and a half back after him. And that will be, yeah... I don't know, I mean, I suppose technically, if you look at that, that is a full stacker army. So, with my full stacker army here, if I just leave it for, I think, one more turn, then everybody will be fully replenished, except maybe these guys. Um, and then I could possibly go in, take out that army. If these guys come to attack, then I can deal with it accordingly. Now, let's have a look at this. Here's my spy. Let's see what he can do. Can he assassinate? Let's give him a chance to assassinate, shall we? So Daniel is going to go over there and do some assassination goodness. Now, you can see here, here's the bridge. So we've got movement into that area. So what I'm thinking, the only drawback is, uh, well, the good thing is, is we've got that small army there along with whatever is included in there. So what I think we'll do is we'll go over and we'll twat this guy. Now, he's backed off almost immediately, which is interesting. But it means also that if we follow up that army, we won't be able to get that far. And then what we can do is there's nothing in there at the moment. There's no buildings in there, so there's nothing for us to deal with. And the problem is, is we could end up being attacked, um, in which case we might have to retreat. But... Let's see, what's that? A supply warehouse, 14% replenishment in the area. That could be very helpful. Now, what's that? That's a steam-pumped iron mine, 200 wealth. 
Okay, so let's do that one. And let's also do that one. So try and, what we're trying to do is bolster the economy somewhat so that uh, there's less issues with respect to money. I mean, if we look here, see the money is going to be a little bit lower, but that is because we are recruiting more, we're spending more, all that kind of stuff. So I think what we need to do now is end the turn and see what happens. It's possible William Carberisford may need to retreat, but we'll see what happens. See, now he's buggered off, which is interesting, and he's moved into that position. That's very interesting. But you've also got this guy here, who's probably wandering down in this direction. Or he is looking to sort of attack from the back. So what I think we ought to do is I think we should go for that army now, because if we can kill that general, then that's going to be a huge advantage for us. Now, what we'll do also is we'll move this gentleman here, down here. Can we move him over here a bit? Yeah. We'll sort of move him over to this sort of area here, see where that other army is. Now, obviously, that's a small bar uh, um, uh, garrison, and obviously that's uh, King of Spain. So that should sort out anybody there. Now, we won't spend any money in that regard. We're still building things as you can see but i think first things first let's start with a bang and he's got artillery horse artillery that's about it just probably elite infantry young guard foot guards we've got a good combination of lights and foot infantry so uh, it looks like they disappeared off to there so he has no reinforcements, and he's got half our numbers. Let's see what kind of battlefield we're going to be fighting on. This should be interesting. Um, so, yeah, relatively okay. I mean, you know, he's got a clear area there. We've got some trees behind which we can hide some of the horses and the clippy clops and all that kind of funky good stuff. So we'll just have to wait and see how that turns out. Hmm... We English are good at forgiving our enemies. It releases us from the obligation of liking our friends. <laughs> P.D. James, very nice. So, oh, look at this. Now, what we need to do is we need to find a good position to put the cannon. Now, obviously, up on a highish hill would be good, but that's a bit covered. That could be a nice hill to put the cannon on top of, to give them a little bit of extra range. Um, there's not really huge amounts of areas over here on the left that we can do that with. Let's make the map a little bit bigger. So what I think is that... Where is it? Where's that hill gone? I've lost my hill! There we go. So what I think is if I get those two regiments out of the way, and we get the cannon, and place them there, and then first thing we'll do is we'll move them up onto that hill straight away. That will be the first act that we shall do. Now, uh, let's see. What we need to do also is we need to get all the lights together. And we need to put them in light mode, so to speak. And let's get them. Oh my goodness, look at that. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together in a big sort of line like that. And then with them, I will put... Three regiments, like so. So you can see here that these regiments are going to act in concert with the lights. So there we go. And we'll set them as control two. And we'll also then set the cannon as control one. Um, so those guys, because they're grouped, will remain in that formation. The, uh, the lights will... Bend, uh, bend on the knee and then these guys can shoot over the top of them hopefully we won't kill too many of our own lights um, what we also need to do is let's see where are these guys okay so these guys are the Portuguese infantry what I will do is I will put those guys and the Spanish fuzzies here to protect the artillery okay so that means that they can deal with any issues relating to that now 
Over on this side, we've got probably, I reckon, four regiments. Yep, that looks like four regiments. So we'll put four regiments there. They're in good number. Get these guys back. And then over here on the other side, let's get the horses over the far side. The clippity clops can go there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the remaining regiments here. And this one here. Because what I do like to do is I like, do like to break up the forces a little bit. It's all mix and match, all that kind of stuff. And have at least sort of like one definable side and another definable side over here. So, you know, that could be quite good in that regard. So there's another regiment there. There's the horses there. We need a smaller number of horses, the Clippity Clop faction over here. We'll put them in there. They'll just be scouting. I doubt they'll be able to do a huge amount of damage, but we could potentially use them to try and take out that artillery. Because that artillery could be a problem. It's £12 for artillery and horsey artillery. So we'll wait and see what happens. So set number one. Start the battle. See, that's going to be a problem putting them on there, isn't it? There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll move up these guys, put them there. Move up these guys. And put them there. Right, so we've done that. Let's move up number two. There we go. They're moving. And we'll also get these guys moving up on flank. And we'll also get our horses on the move. We'll just get them just moving there and these scouts also let's look for a good area let's put them up there get them running so everybody is on the move oh yes general so we shall put our general over here I think there we go and I will keep them all walking there's no point moving them uh, faster speed than that right now And there we go, you can see them unlimbering their cannon. Okay, let's get these regiments moving as well, I think. Nice selection of four. If we move them to there, then at least like the whole line is all moving up. Which is good. So, come on, Clifty Clops, get into place. The trouble is they do have a lot of cannon, and they are moving that cannon. See, this is what I want to use the horses for. Ouch, here we go. This is what I want to use the horses for. I want to um, use them to sort of deal with the artillery. Maybe get in there and sort of... But the trouble is, is what happens, you can see they're hiding behind the artillery which makes sense really to be honest from a sort of tactical point of view it looks like they are going for my artillery straight away so let's tell them to run oh oh that's not good Let's get them unlimbered. And let's get these mirrors moved up a little bit. So yeah, they're going straight for our cannon. So if we can get to a situation where we can attack their cannon. See, look, this is the thing, look. How they don't kill their own troops, I've no idea, but anyway. Never mind. Yeah, we've lost the cannon. God damn it. So, what I think we might do actually is move these guys up to here so that they can actually act a little bit more sort of offensive if need be. Let's move these section up there. And that regiment's on its way. If we move them down here, then they may have the element of surprise. 
And if we look at these guys here, we could also move these guys in as well. Sort of down one side like that. So these guys are being hit by the RT. So let's get those unlimbered that need to be unlimbered. And we'll check to see what we can do now. Yeah, these guys are taking a battery. Let's run them in. And let's just put those guys up there a little bit. Actually, no, let's put them there. So let's check our distance. Yeah, that looks okay ish. Yeah, I'm not happy with the placement. But it is what it is, we'll have to deal with it as best we can. And so they're still hiding behind the damn cannons. So hopefully these forces here on this side will flush them out. Because then we'll be attacking them from a position of strength on one side. Um, and then these guys also will be able to hit them as well. So let's move this, these guys up because they've got the long range of the lights up there as well. We've got these guys here who we may be able to move in behind them. Let's get these guys up as well. Let's see where they are. There we go. Let's get them up to here. You can see all these guys being hit by the artillery. Let's put them into square. Hopefully try and reduce any kind of casualties when they're standing in a line. Yeah, see, look. These damn cannons shooting at them as well. Where's a nuclear strike when you need one? See, what I'm wondering is whether or not it's worth unlimbering that entire section and moving them up to hit. Yeah, let's do that. Because at the moment, they're ineffectual. And we need them to be effective. Because otherwise, they're just going to butcher our boys. Let's get these guys running. And there's those guys who are the young guard. They're the elites. So we've got to watch out for them. So, let's move over to the cannon. And then what we'll do is we'll move them over to here. Now the only drawback is that we do have them moving closer towards my cannon. So let's move that regiment up. Put the general there. And let's put that regiment there. And that regiment can remain there. So you can see these guys are taking a bit of a pounding from the artillery. So let's move them up a little bit. See if they can get in there with those light, those rifles and do some damage if they can. Let's see, let's move these guys to here. So maybe they've got an opportunity to attack the general but what the AI tends to do is it tends to put the general right in the center of all the cannons and all the troops which is rather frustrating from our point of view but you know it's what it is and I am losing people I'm not happy about that at all those damn cannons that's my mistake for that bad cannon placement I should have looked at that better but never mind let's get those guys running let's get those guys running as well Here's our regiment here moving up. We've got these horses, we'll move them to there. Actually, we'll move them to there. There we go. So they're now being double engaged. And we've got... Yeah, 
Yep, they're good. Got these guys also moving up as well. So let's move these guys up on that flank. Hazards indeed. Now which direction are they facing? Okay, they're facing that way. Can we be cheeky and get in there with some clippity clops? No, we can't. Because they send their horses in almost immediately. Yeah, there we go, see. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, that's not exactly unexpected. Because they're under artillery fire and other things as well. So if we move these guys up here, move these guys back towards this regiment, then what we can do is move this regiment to here, make them run, and then they can run past them and then we can put them into square mode and hopefully take out that cavalry. But we've got to be ready to put these guys in square mode at the same time. They have moved back, so we'll move them to that side. Let's check to see what the rest of the regiments are doing. Right, these guys are now in a position to look in the right direction for a start. So let's move them up. To there. And you can see they've already moved their flank to cover that. Uh oh, horses. Horses for courses, god damn it. And let's get our horses in here. Damn it, that's a trouble, I missed them. Put them in square. Get them out of there because these guys will take out these horses in the same way. I was just absolutely butcher them. There we go, they broke them. Fantastic, well done lads. So now they've broken. We can take them out of square, move these guys up, and then get our horses in on their artillery. Try and take out these guys here. At the same time as we've got these guys moving in on the other flank as well. But maybe we'll be in a position to do some damage. Let's have a look. Let's move them to that point, I think. So here's that regiment there, moving up. Where's the horses? Come on, horses. Get in there. Take out that cannon. Where's our cannon, by the way? Right, let's get them unlimbered quickly. Those guys can go on top of the hill. These guys can unsquare and go there. Check in the centre what's going on. Here we go, that's good. They're being outflanked. The clippity clops. How are our clippity clops doing? They're going in for the cannon. Get them, boys. Try and do as much damage as we can. Take out as many cannons as we can. Yeah, there we go. They're running. Yeah, it could be that we end up sacrificing these horses in order to take out the cannons, but it will give us a significant improvement in advantage. Let's see. Let's carry on. And we've also got these forces closing in as well. Let's speed them up because they're now moving in. We'll keep the horses up here so that they can charge on the flank if they need to. Where are my horses? Here they are. Ah, they've got horses in there as well. 
But if we can take out that cannon, we're on to a winner. There we go. Let's move them out. And then let's use our horses to attack the back of these guys. Let's get this regiment moved up Our somewhat. Men are running, sir. Bet that's a horse. Yeah, it's the god. It's the horses. Sorry, horses. You did a damn good job, fellas. Well done. Now over here, what we'll do is I'll move our horses to there, and then they can sort of sneak into here. Uh, meanwhile. Oh, hello. That's a general. Shoot that man. More horses? It is more horses. You guys need to square. They're going after the lights. And let's put those guys into square in case those guys float around somewhere as well. So you can see these guys here starting to engage, looking good, let's move them up, let's see if we can break these guys with the horses, what's going on over here, that's them going after the lights, trying to sneak in behind us, let's get those guys over to one side, and this square should deal with this, we've got a double square there, how's the centre looking, centre's looking okay. Um, let's move these guys around to there like that. Is that my cannon firing? I hope so. Yes, it is. So if we do a cannon fire on the colonel, or the general I should say, then we could be on a good position. Right, so these guys... Let's see if we can use these guys to attack the regiment of foot fusiliers. They're breaking, good. These guys are coming under some fire, let's move those guys to there. Take both of those out of square so that they can start fighting back. Well, no, they're still actually no. Those guys need to stay in square. Let's run those guys in. What's going on over here? Right, that's that regiment there, so we need to just adjust them so they're not being in danger of being flanked. Oh god. Yeah, it looks like those guys are running in the center. Move these guys up a little bit. Right, let's see if we can break them. Go. And if we look here, these guys are continuing to move up as well. Horses in the center are breaking. They're our horses, but it's not the end of the world. Let's bring these guys in and outflank there. No, we can't. Let's bring these guys up behind there and outflank them. There we go. Horses have broken them. Go, horses. And let's have a look here, because these guys are doing okay. Are there any enemy horse around? No. There are no enemy clifty clops. So let's take these out of square for the moment. Let's just reorganize them back into square. What are these guys doing? That was them. Get them in there. There we go, they're breaking there. Let's see what other options we have. Let's move the guard in. 
They're breaking as well, but unfortunately we haven't got the general and I really want to get him. So let's take these horses. A glorious victory, sir. And get murdered the general. What's this behind? That's a bit of a worry. Let's take these guys over to there. Run them over. I know they're tired. Sorry, lads. If we can hit the general with that cannon, then that will be advantageous for us. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Not sure what they're doing there, but never mind. So these guys have used all their ammo. And what can we do with them? Let's send them in there. Okay, so it's a bit messy. But we are getting the upper hand. Right, let's get the general. Get him. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Which ones are you? You are the lot. Infantry elite. Go and stab them, please, as you don't have the bullets left. Come on. Kill the general. I want that general dead. I'm going to push it up the daisies, ladies and gentlemen. As you can hear, I'm still somewhat bunged up. Come on. Get him. And get him while he's fleeing, then that's a wonderful thing. Let's get some cannons on those guys. And let's get these guys to move up a bit. Right, let's check on our 16 horses. Where's the general? Does the general run? Where's the enemy gen? Get in there and kill him, please. Why that bastard dead? They've still got some distance to go. So it's not the end of the world. Right, who hasn't broken? There's in the centre. My lads have broken in the centre. Okay, let's bring these guys up. Get in there and stab. Okay, so they've broken. These guys haven't yet. Let's move these guys back. Like that. Where's the hunt for the general? There he is. Come on, butcher him. We have killed their yes. generals. Yes. Now they must break. Fantastic. Good. That'll be a major blow for the French army, as the general is now no more. And let's see. Fusilier of line. And then at the same time, we charge in the rear and stab you in the bottom. Hello. And there we go. Heroic victory. Hurrah. Hurrah indeed. Whew. Boy. I thought I was actually going to lose that for a while. There was a moment of tenseness in there that I thought it was going to go badly. So let's see. Oh, goodness me. He's only got 346 men left. How sad. We lost 1,400, and they lost a lot more. Wow. And now he's buggering off. So, what we are going to do is we are going to push that advantage by killing him off completely. And we'll auto-resolve that. And there we go. We have now killed that army completely, which is what we wanted. That's very important for us. And what I really need to do is get him back to our territory so that we can renew those numbers. And there we go. Superior General. Well done, William Carr Beresford. Now, 
Let's see, because money is okay. What is that guy? What can that guy do to them? Let's see if we can sabotage the army. Now. Things aren't looking too bad there. Court of Justice will be helpful. Let's put that in there and let's check to see how the nose is getting on. So you can see here, he's looking good. All the numbers are starting to replenish. And we've even got space for one more at the end. So it means that he can then start pushing up here. And pushing back from this side and maybe moving towards La Mancha. Which would be rather spangly in my opinion. So, let's see what I think we need to do. We've also got a doubling of forces coming up here. We've still got this point here. Which is where, I think this is where they move that army back to from where we were here. So, it may be possible that those guys need to run for it as quickly as possible. But let's end the turn and see how we get there. So yeah, he's doing some more raiding there. And that's the guy that we should really try and deal with. The trouble is we don't have an army there yet. But if we bring this army back here, then they will all start replenishing. And we can leave him and deal with those guys now. Let's see if we can repair that. Yep, 45. We can't repair that because he's there. And now that we have the nose himself, we need more cannon there really, don't we? But we can't recruit it there. Now what I'm thinking is where are our options for recruiting cannon? Now we can recruit cannon down here. So let's recruit one cannon there. And we could potentially move him up towards Nosy. But yeah, that's a long way to push a cannon, I have to say. Kind of sucks for them. Technological advance. Local recruitment initiatives. Good. Guerrilla training network is next. Uh, enemy mines have been raided. Yes, of course, we know that. Uh, we've got an army there, so we can't do anything about it. Enemy raiding. Warren? Jen? I I'm, I'm not, I'm, don't even know. I apologize to my... Uh, Friends who are watching in Spain and cobbled roads in Mercia, which means that the general speed of movement in the campaign map will actually vastly improve us for us. So what I think we'll do then is we'll take Mr. Nose here and he'll still be replenishing. So we're going to move him up to here. And as you can see, look at those cobbled roads. Gives us massive speed movement difference. And we shall move him up to here. Because then he can sneak in towards La Mancha. And then obviously we can use this guy to deal with that lot while he's replenishing at the same time. So that's a good situation for us. Now, um, over here, less good situation, but a smaller army. Now the thing is, let me just check. Yeah, I don't really want to play around with any more armies because it's going to create massive monetary issues for me. And I think that would be a little bit of a mistake under the circumstances. So let's send him to infiltrate La Mancha and give us an idea of what forces are in there. Oh, shit. Oh, dear, we've just lost our spy. But it gives us visibility of these two little fellas who are probably going in to recover that. So we've lost our spy. That's a bit of a blow. Now, if we go to here and we look at our agents, who do, else do we have? We have this guy who's in Salamancha up here. We have Provocateur, Provocateur, and Guerrilla Arrow, or whatever. So, let's see. What we might do is move this gentleman. Down here somewhat. So we can sort of sniff him around here, this area, and see what happens. So, yeah, taxes are right. Agents, armies, okay. William Carr Beresford. And, of course, the nose. So, yeah, that's not looking too bad, I have to say. 
we are getting there slowly. I would like to recruit some more for the nose if we can. What can we recruit? Um, see, that's the thing. I can't recruit that one, which I would like to. But hey ho, we'll wait. We'll wait on that one. And because we'll have like thirteen fifty-two money-wise. So let's end the turn and move on. And another raid from the French Empire. Okay, so that means then he's kind of worked himself into a corner. Oh, brilliant. Mercia, we have a barracks now. So that means then we should, yep. Nine pound foot artillery. Good stuff. Now, what can we do here? Okay. Because then what we'll do is that will give us more, a little bit more extra um, artillery, which I will be pleased with. I don't have a lot of cavalry in that particular set up sadly now the opera house plus two happiness all classes eight wealth recruitment and enhances national prestige and that's 675 let's do that and here these guys building a court of justice we're not going to build cobble roads yet but what i think we will do is we'll use car beresford here to deal with these guys because they've now locked themselves into that position. And there we go. So he's literally withdrawn almost immediately. So hopefully we can continue to pursue him. And let's repair that. And let's repair that. Now, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, that's us repairing uh, or, or raiding things there. And so let's go and have a look at the Nose. Find out where he is. Here we go. So here is our fine Mr. Nose. And he is going to move towards La Mancha. Camp. We could even go in and do some raiding there, which would be nice. But give them visibility of our army a little bit there. And there's still these areas in here. There's still that relatively goodish army. Yeah, it'd be nice to kill Marmont if we can. Um, but to be honest, I want to focus on that army that's in my territory first before I consider doing anything else. Because he's going to be the bigger danger to me. Meanwhile, we've got Nosy closing in on the other side. So let's end that turn. I don't think there's anything we can do right now. Yeah, let's end it. Here we go. Here's a provocateur. Let me rest. You are resting, you fool. Aha, uh -huh, what's going on here? So, there we go. Placentia. So, they've raided that one. Lovely. And unfortunately, we don't have anybody we can unraid them with, so to speak. But let's see, because what we'll do is we'll do him to there. And oh heavens, look at that. That looks to be a nice little army, doesn't it? So let us also, yeah, we've got that coming. So that's going to be fine. And it should give us a little bit of money from the raiding. Um, there we go, cannon in Gibraltar, so we'll keep that cannon there, on the off chance that it will be helpful. Hello, what are you doing there, you sneaky little so-and-so? Yes, Let's bring this guy around here. Is that where he's gone? It is. So let's see if we can deal with those guys. Now. Let's see, because the thing is, they don't have a huge amount of people there. 
Um, let's see what our agents can do. Hmm. They're mostly enemy agents in there, but it doesn't matter at the moment. So we've got this area here, which we can turn into a musket manufactory. It will add recruitment costs, or reduce recruitment costs, and give capacity for here, which is helpful. Now here's a drill school. That could be interesting. See, so we're already building the opera house. If we build a drill school, that could give us a good recruiting place on the side. So if we do that one, and then we'll do the drill school next, because as you can see, that'll increase one there, so we'll be able to get a lot more recruitment in there, which will be helpful for us. Now, let's see, because what I want to do, we still got these guys here yes. who are guarding that bridge along with their Spanish friends. What I might do is send this guy up to there to go and help them. And let's see, I think we'll leave Nosy plundering there because he's enjoying the good plunder. And if we look at Carl Beresford, wherever the hell he is, here we go. He will make his move down towards this guy and try and deal with him. And see how that goes. And money is relatively okay, so let's end the turn. Let's just check something. Upper hand, okay. Right, ensure for no more than five regions. End of your turn, late December 1815. So we've still got some time. Still got another two years or so. So in that regard, it's okay. So, but I think we're kind of, yeah, we're not going as fast as we should under the circumstances. But let's end the turn. There we go. Knew that was coming. 548 supported by 2,000. But we've got 5,000. So we have the advantage. Let's kill them all. Three generals versus the nose. This should be brutal. Hmm. I have full confidence in our nose in order to uh, do what needs to be done. Now, let's have a look at positions. See, that could be nice up on the hill there. So, what I'm thinking is, oh, we've only got what we didn't get, get a chance to recruit the final cannon, which is a bit of a shame. But what we can do is put the cannon up here. So, if we put the cannon up there and give them those two guys to cover them. Now we've got these two guys. What we'll do is we'll put all of them there for the moment. Get these guys out of the way. And make it that. There we go. And then we'll add three regiments behind them to support like so and that'll be number two and that'll be number one where we can't select anyway so there we go now horsey let's put these guys right over the far side now let's see Let's sort our forces out a little bit better here. These guys will move over to one side, that side. We'll also move... Hmm. 
Yeah, those guys are going to work with the... Those guys, okay. So what have we got over here? So let's get these guys over on that flank. And then here... We'll keep his reinforcements. And then the nose himself can wait there. So, first things first, we need to get the cannon up to here. So, let's get underway. So that goes to there. We'll get these guys to there. We'll get these guys to here. And then number two can move up to that position there. I'll have to double check because I think Dogbook gave me the uh, uh, hint for that particular formation of lights and regiments and all that kind of stuff. So. I could be wrong. I'm not 100% certain. I shall have to check with the dog boot to confirm if that information is correct. So let's see. Let's move these guys up to here. Now, if we look in the center there, there's the cannon. So if we can engage their cannon first, that would be advantageous for us. These guys can rest when they get there. Same with those guys. Let's get them into position and get them out of the way of the cannon. Let's make that map big. Right, so here are the other regiments on the left flank. And we've also got regiments on the right flank with the centre being covered by number two battalion. And is it regiment and battalion? I'm not sure. Regiment and division. Might be battalion anyway. There's one of their captains who's in uh, artillery which is going to be interesting with general staff right behind him okay so these guys will probably need to move a bit faster right cannons are you in position yet come on No, they're not even close yet. But you can see some of these guys starting to take some fire. Yeah, we've lost a few of our lobsters. Come on, boys, get up. Get up. Come on, lads, stop lying down. Okay, you're allowed to lie down, but you guys aren't. Come on. Up to it. Up to it. Oh, God, look at that. That cannibal crevice right through his head. That can't be good for his health. Right, here we go. So if we take these guys and put them right there, I think. Move those guys up. Yeah. That's a shitload of cav, but we have a lot of line troops that can deal with that. So I'm not too worried about that. The only thing is obviously is the, uh, the lights, but they'll deal with it as best they can put them there but the point is is that we've got a large forces coming in from multiple directions multiple regiments plus we've also got reinforcements if we need it so what we'll do is we'll move our reinforcements and we'll move the redoubtable mr. nose up as well Right, okay, get on Limbud and start kicking some bottom gentlemen, please. And six pounders, but at least they're better than nothing. Put them there. Okay, so here come, oh heavens, that's a shitload of calf. That is an absolute acre load of cavalry. A 
And they're all sitting there being shot at, which is even funnier. Come on, lads, move into position quickly. And if we put these guys here behind into square, which is what we're going to need. And then the lights can just get out of the way. That's exactly the result we wanted. Well done, lads. Grenadiers coming in. These boys can also move up as well. To about here. And our fine fellows on the right flank can move up to there. So this is where most of the action's going on in the centre here. They're moving over to one side. These guys are moving over to one side to try and get out of the way of what's remained behind them. So let's take them out of square. Get those guys to fire at that lot. Those guys to fire at that lot. And then we'll get the cannon, our cannon, to engage that lot behind them. Now our horses really need to move up. So they need to move up to about here. Because we really need to deal with that lot. But then he's got light horse nearby, which is going to be a problem for us. But we'll deal with it as best we can. I have confidence in my lads. Right. Right, let's move them. Reposition them. No, you guys can stay there. It's you guys I want repositioned. Now these guys are taking some fire as well. Let's move them up. Okay, gets good. These guys are taking some artillery fire. Engage them while these guys continue to move. Walk up on the outflanking position. And let's see, what else do we have? Is the cavalry and the artillery staying together? Yes, they are. Ah, the cavalry's moving out. But let's get... Let's get our horses in on the artillery right now. It could be that these guys are about to get done and over. Oh, hello, boys. Time for a quick square. Hello, fellas. Got a surprise for you. Oh, come and play. Please come and play. Ignoramuses. So as you can see in the centre here, they're all breaking pretty bad. These guys need to be in a better position. They shouldn't be moving forward. These guys, however, should. And there we go, we've broken them. It's exactly the result that we wanted. We'll leave them in square so they can take out as many as possible. Here's our horsey going in for the artillery. Fantastic, gentlemen, well done. Now, all we need to do then is try and focus down on their general. They do have three generals, don't they? That's the only drawback. I'm not sure where the hell they're going. Okay. So these guys... Nope, there's the general over there. 
Oh, there's a general. Let's get a general. And then let's move these guys up. Out of square and up. Right, let's just go after that artillery general. And then let's get these guys into square. Come on, boys. We have killed their general, sir. Now oh, one they of them. must break. Move these guys over to here and put these guys into square to assist them. Sorry, General. Contribution is no longer required. Get those guys to engage them at distance. Get those guys to square up and assist. Get him. It's one general down. There we go, another guy in trouble. dealt with. Another general down. Good. Well done, lads. Take out that artillery. Is our artillery continuing to fire? Yes, it is. Good. Fire on those bastards. And so we're going after this guy. Now, where are the other generals? I think they've all run for it already. And we're doing alright, we haven't lost too many people. And we've still got a unit in reserve, or two, uh, three regiments in reserve. Which is fantastic, really. I'm really pleased with that. That outcome. That is really good. There we go. Two heroic victories in one episode. Wow. Almost unheard of for Chad. Almost unheard of. And valor oh, they only killed 312 of my men. And so, yeah. So, 200 of mine were friendly fire. Are indeed. Fantastic. And Malaga has been raided. Of course it has. I'd expect nothing less. But, to be honest, they're not going to have a chance to raid much more. Path has been blocked by William Carr Beresford. Okay. And enemy raid we've looked at. And reunit recruited artillery in Gibraltar. So, that's all good. Looking good. So, I think we can be quite pleased with how things are progressing, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Take care.